Today's case study is kind of a fun one and a rare one, uh, so hopefully you guys can learn from this. But we have a 16-year-old female who was involved in a high-speed car accident that rolled over, and she complained of neck pain in the scene. Uh, the EMS brought her in by ambulance, and she was immobilized in a hard collar at the scene. When she came in, her head seemed to be stuck in this type of positioning where her head, chin was tilted and stuck, and she could not physically turn her head anymore. Uh, this is the scalp x-ray uh, that was done on the patient's CT scan. And right here is the results of the CT scan. This is her C1 and C2 joint on the axial cut of the CT scan. So, what's the diagnosis? If you're new here, what I usually do is I post a comment to this video with the answers in a new video tomorrow. So the answers to the case study from yesterday is acute atlantoaxial subluxation. So we discussed that this is the um, x-ray of the patient's head and the patients typically that have this will be stuck in this position where their head is tilted and rotated and stuck and it has acute pain whenever they try to move it. Now this can happen in trauma or it can also happen spontaneously. So this is the C1 and C2 anatomy. Those are the top two bones in our neck and that's how we turn our head side to side. So anytime we turn our head side to side, you have C1 and C2 rotating on each other. This is the patient's CT scan. So you can see C1 and C2 are rotated and stuck on each other where um, it's kind of locked or subluxed and stuck. So the patient head was acutely turned and then the joints popped out of place and then she's stuck in this position in which she cannot move her head and, and it has a tremendous amount of neck pain. Without getting too technical here, there are four types of subluxations and she has a type one, which is a unilateral subluxation. There are other causes of atlantoaxial subluxation that are non-traumatic, such as inflammatory related or post-viral related, but that's not really what I'm talking about here. Hers was a traumatic subluxation. So basically to fix this, we had to manually reduce her. So I placed her in traction and physically gave her some sedation and turned her head and popped it back into place. Uh, that placed the ligaments and the joints back into place and we treated her with a hard collar for six weeks and her neck pain slowly resolved and she was out of the collar and back to normal within six weeks. So the more you know.